Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Mystic Raceway, the location for race seven of the Scrap Mechanic Auto Racing League. We have an exciting qualifying session this afternoon to see who's going to get the top spot in the penultimate weight race of this championship. Mystic Raceway, it's a maze of a raceway. As you can see here, every turn is tight and adjacent to at least one other track. We have some floating islands off from the distance. We have no idea how they're floating, but they're there and they look pretty good. Makes for a good location. Who is going to win this championship? Season one, there's been a lot of weird things going on, but we have seen some amazing competition. LaMob Industries and Black Knight are now tied for the lead with Grasshopper tied with Leon and Neon Annihilator, excuse me, for second place. White Rider did pretty good, has had a really decent to average season so far, but is qualifying and setting the pretty decent qualifying time, starting us off with sub 90 seconds. Lemon Racer is the person to challenge White Rider. They have been first and second every time in qualifying so far in order. And so far, Lemon Racer is over a tenth up and actually finishes ahead of White Rider, pushing their time down and getting a 126.268. Chaos Shifter. Chaos Shifter has it, also had a decent season with a couple. I guess top 10 finishes, but unfortunately finishes below White Rider, 8400s down. Grasshopper, tied with Neon Annihilator for second place, gets a bit of a bump at the end there and slows them down significantly and ends up getting fourth. Red Thunder, as well, has had an okay season, not doing too great, but unfortunately finishes in fifth provisionally behind Grasshopper. Blue Bruiser has had a good start of the season, but then has been just falling off for the end of this season. Let's see if they can qualify any better. And they do. Actually, they end up getting provisionally second place, only 19 hundredths away from Lemon Racer. Sweet Haze has had been a strong challenger, especially in the qualifying rounds. Unfortunately, they don't finish well, but they did qualify amazing here. Provisionally pole place here ahead of Lemon Racer with an 86.234. Black Knight, tied with Lamob Industries for the lead right now in the championship has made a huge response, is trying to make a response to Sweet Haze's qualifying time passing by them on the corner here. And if, as you can see here, actually was ended up over a tenth up coming through the exit onto the front stretch. And that puts them ahead of Sweet Haze. First place for Black Knight, provisionally, as they get ahead of Sweet Haze with a qualifying time of 126.119. Fiery Dragon. Had a strong start to the season, but unfortunately doesn't finish well and qualifies here way in the back. We don't know what happened to them, but we can look into it soon. They end up getting provisionally last place. And Legends Tire, who's been bumping up the ranks of the season, now has been qualifying and finishing pretty well. Unfortunately, qualifies tied with Sweet Haze for third place or second place, technically, with a 126.234. The Mob Industries, the Dark Horse Workhorse has throwing himself up into the top spot with amazing quint finishes in the last three races. It actually had a really good lap around this track. We're going to follow him here. We have the outlier of the maze goes that goes past nearly both islands and crosses really close to underneath some, dangerously so. So if any of those islands come crashing down anytime soon, you don't want to be on this raceway. This track has a lot of dangerous hairpins, a lot of slow turns, however, some pretty long and decent straights. They aren't super long so the slipstream doesn't have a long time to come into effect so track position here for qualifying and as well as grabbing positions in the first couple laps is important we did have a major talking to and changing up of the ai so now the cars will be racing slightly slower than normal but they shouldn't be crashing into each other nearly as much there will be incidents because that's what happens and as you can see here the mob industries was doing really well to catch up to black knight's time hovering within within one tenth of a second and charges down the straightaway and ends up getting provisionally first place knocking down black knight with a 126.017 so close to breaking 126 into that 125 purple shadow racing has had also a similar season to fiery dragon and ends up in the back actually qualifying ahead of them by around two tenths sniper's dream one other person who's just been dropping off this season popped off the first race but unfortunately has been getting spun out towards the end of the races and then consequencing races. Sniper's Dream ends up actually splitting Black Knight and Mob Industries with a second place. Typhoon Blade. 
Typhoon Blade has had a really unfortunate season. They have qualified within the top five, I think, for at least five races, but have just been getting spun out towards the end of every race. As you can see here, their determination has not finished, has not diminished at all. They are within a tenth of a second of the mob industry's time and charges actually was making up tenths of a second for every last corner and ends up throwing themselves through the line, getting themselves provisionally pole position. Typhoon Blade with a 125.918, breaking that rel actually lap record time with an 85 seconds. And Neon Annihilator actually made a huge response. This is actually six hundredths nearly getting to a tenth. Actually, yes, 1.5 tenths of a second ahead of Typhoon's Blade through the beginning of this lap. Neon Annihilator did really well and was charging out with their lead. They used to have a consistent bad time when it comes to qualifying. They usually qualify in the back, but they always work their way up into the lead somehow during races. As you can see here, Neon Annihilator actually might break that streak. They did lose a tenth of a second going across that corner, but hopefully they can hold on to it. <laughs> wow, not at all. Neon Annihilator was doing well, but started losing steam compared to Typhoon Blade's strong charge out the last three quarters. As you can see here, the last the last corner here onto the front straight, he got down to three tenths behind Typhoon Blade. So this proves how fast Typhoon Blade just went on those straightaways on the last two corners. However, that puts them <laughs> splitting Purple Shadow Racing and Fiery Dragon down into 14th. Penny King, the last qualifier for the session this afternoon, did pretty well was going through the corners decently but had to slow down on some exits so that made them lose some time but that doesn't mean that they were completely behind especially when it came to typhoon blade a tenth up penny king actually crosses through the second half of this track going on to the front stretch penny king loses some time to Typhoon Blade as he clearly had a long, a really fast straightaway and finishes actually within the top five. So not bad for Penny King. They have had a decent season, but unfortunately they just also got spun out similar to Typhoon Blades. So let's put Sweet Haze. Sweet Haze did qualify before Legends Tire, so they get ended up six. So they will be side by side for the formation lap next race. And that will be your qualifiers. Typhoon Blade, congratulations for their first pole qualifying of the season and Lamob Industries with a second place. This race will probably determine the championship. I'm so excited to see you guys then, but until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening.